Friday, we are hearing from the former head football coach of St. Augustine's in Raleigh. On Friday, six games into the season, he was let go. He says the university told him it was due to infractions for playing ineligible players. He says the university overestimated the issue. WRL's Chelsea Donovan joins us now live after speaking with him today. Chelsea. Yeah, Deborah, just hours before the Falcons were set to play on Saturday, they learned their head coach, Howard Feggins, had been fired. Now, back in March, he signed a three-year deal with the university and, as you mentioned, just ousted after six games into the season. He says the university told him it was eligibility issues. He thought those infractions, like you mentioned, had been cleared up, so he actually believes he was fired in retaliation for his repeated asks to get his to get his athletes rather more support my letter of infraction more than 50 players look on as former st augs coach howard feggins holds a press conference three days after his abrupt termination I was hired in march late march that was a dream come true for me Feggins, only a few months into the program and only six games in, fired midseason for what the university told him was multiple infractions. For those infractions I mistakenly missed, I will hold myself accountable. Feggins didn't deny there were two players on the roster that he knew were ineligible to play, but thought it was cleared up with the university. The university said in a letter that Cameron Page played three snaps but was ineligible. For... Uh, this type of violation, I don't, it's very rare that you will find someone uh, get let go. The second infraction had to do with player Nyron Campbell Adams, who the university said played five games with a different number. But Fagan strongly disagreeing, saying that Campbell Adams only dressed for one game and sat on the sidelines, and the number he had on was a player who was no longer on the team. He was not even on the travel roster. Campbell Adams showed up it's, in support. It's silly, in my opinion, because they could have easily asked questions. Fagans believes his constant outcries for help for his team was the real reason for his firing. Fagans said shortfalls for athletes range from a failure to pay the laundry bill for player uniforms to an inability to afford campus visits for recruits. But I've never got a coach fired in the middle of the season, let alone day before a game. We literally cannot catch a break. Now, Fagan says filing a lawsuit is not out of the question. The university said today they have no comment on what he told the press today. Jody Owens, who is the defense coordinator here at the university, will now step in as the interim head coach. Boy, Coach Fagan's very emotional about what happened. Chelsea Donovan, live in Raleigh. Thank you, Chelsea.